Hello, welcome to another episode of the Bug Bounty Tips. Today we are going to look at Shodan Dorks. This video is inspired by a recent tweet by Nahamsek, where a lot of people posted their favorite Shodan Dorks. And today we are going to explore some of these dorks. But first of all, what is Shodan? Shodan is also sometimes called the most dangerous search engine in the world. Shodan is a search engine for internet connected devices. One application we can use Shodan for is to see how many hosts a vulnerability could affect. Traditional web search engines like Google and DuckDuckGo don't let you answer this question. So but how does Shodan work? Shodan gathers information about all devices directly connected to the internet. If a device is directly hooked up to the internet, then Shodan queries it for various publicly available information. The types of devices that are indexed can vary tremendously ranging from small desktops up to nuclear power plants and everything in between. Specifically, it works by parsing the banners that are returned by a device. Banners contain the metadata about the software that's running on a device. This can be information about the server software, what options the service supports, a welcome message or anything else that the client would like to know before interacting with the server. For example, here we can see an FTP banner. This tells us a potential name of the server and the type of the FTP server. For HTTP, the banner can look like this. Now that we understood what Shodan is, let's look in some of the basics and how to search with Shodan. One of the best things about Shodan are the search filters. Search filters are special keywords to tell Shodan that you wish to search a specific property. They take the format of the filter name and the value. For example, we can look in devices located in Singapore with the filter name country and the keyword SG. The easiest way to get to know Shodan is to explore it by doing, by hands-on experience. So let's explore some of the targets of the Department of Defense from their public vulnerability disclosure program. For example, one big web app is the Air Force website, af.mil. If we only type this one into the search bar, we can see that no results are found. But if we search this with the search filter host name, we can see that we get 10,486 results. Shodan is also really good to do some reconnaissance. So if we started with such a very simple search query, we can go here on the left hand side and see the ports are opened and where these services are located. If we click on more, there is a very nice functionality in Shodan where we can filter by certain properties. For example, for the DOD, it can be very good to search for the ASN number. Now we can see that a lot of the hosts are actually located in this uh, ASN number. So if we click here, Shodan will automatically combine our two search queries. Now let's try to find some interesting hosts by removing the host name af.mil and only search for this ASN number. And we can look through these results and see if some of them might be in the Department of Defense vulnerability program. But we can also search for the organization with the ORG filter. And here we can see that interestingly, there is an organization called the DOD Network Information Center and the Air Force System Networking. So search findings under these organizations are very likely to belong to the Department of Defense. So let's check out the DOD Network Information Center. So if we click on here, Shodan will combine these two search terms. Let's do some reconnaissance and try to find some other interesting targets for the DOD. Therefore, we can just remove our hostname filter and only search for this organization. So now we can see that for this organization, we have a total of 60,000 results and they are all very likely to belong to the DOD. So you can scroll through these targets and see what you can find. And you can also get more information about this IP address by clicking on it. So for example, here we can see that the port 443 is open, which is usually used for HTTPS. We can get information about the ISP, the ASN, and that this, is, this service seems to be located in the city of Columbus in the United States. Here also very interesting, we can look at the open ports. You can see that for the DOD Network Information Center, that for this organization, the port 8081 seems to be opened quite frequently, even more than the port 443. In the entire DOD Network Information Center organization, let's look if there are any SSH ports open, which is usually port 22. So we can see that 27 SSH ports um, are open and now we could investigate all of them independently. So now let's look at some of these dogs. 
So we are searching for port 80 and in the title index of, usually we will find some exposed data or files or information on such pages. In the next dog, we are looking for Kibana instances here, searching for the title Kibana on the port 443. Here is another dog where we can look for Jenkins instances by searching in the HTML by dashboard Jenkins and or for the HTTP component Jenkins. Here is another compilation of nice dogs by Manas Hunter. For example, the one with 230 logins successful on port 21. Now you have it. You can combine these dogs with each other and look through your target and find some juicy information. And hopefully you can find some vulnerabilities that you can report. And last but not least, I also want to introduce you to one crazy power feature of Shodan, which is under a very hidden domain. So you have to change here to 2000 Shodan IO and you can enable the best Shodan experience of all. Check this out. <laughs> Okay, that was it for the Shodan video. I hope you liked it. Please consider liking and subscribing. Also checking out my Twitter account. Thank you very much.